Uh, I want to give you something special that can help you on your next trip. So, are you ready to go? Usually, usually the last thing I pack before a trip, and maybe you're the same, is your bathroom stuff, your toiletry bag. Well, I'm gonna give you the essentials to go in this, a how-to guide for packing your toiletry bag. I'm gonna give you my tips and tricks for packing when you're on the go. The theme of this toiletry video, it's all about traveling lighter and farther. My motto every time I pack. Over the years, I've worked to perfect this art and improve my packing skills as I travel more miles. This guide is designed to help you pack smarter and lighter so you can enjoy the journey without the added weight and stress of overpacking. So we're gonna break down the different toiletry bags and I've brought out a few different ones to show you. This is the one that I'm traveling with these days. A good toiletry bag is essential for keeping all your things organized, all your toiletries organized when you travel. Also, it helps protect other parts that are in your luggage in case something inside the toiletry bag explodes. So what's the right one for your needs? Well, the old school style and the, the style that your dad probably carried was something like this adopt kit. The heavy leather one, I still remember the one that my dad carried. There are the hanging toiletry bags and I don't have one here to show you, but these can be great for longer trips. They have the hook, hook it on something and hang it there. It's not my style, I don't like them. There are the bigger bags specifically designed for makeup and beauty products with many different compartments, but they have a tendency to be quickly overpacked, so avoid those. Then there are the clear bag. They usually come with a few containers inside. They're perfect for passing the TSA, passing through security so they can see all your products, but they're not cool. What I usually do is I grab a couple Ziploc bags like this, stick it in my toiletry bag, so if they force me to pull out all my little containers, I can put them in a Ziploc bag quickly if they don't have them there to give me. My main one that I've used over the years was this Piquardo one uh, made by an Italian company. I used the hell out of it. Uh, zipper is finally, yeah, see, zipper doesn't work. I gave it up and I needed to find something else. And in fact, it was quite too big, to be honest. Free one like this, very small, and I still use this if I'm going on a one night trip or something like that. And this one here, it's stiff, it's blue inside. You can throw your things in there. Again, it's helpful for a one or two night trip. My main one that I use now is Herschel. It's a Canadian hipster brand. I didn't buy it for that reason. I, I bought it, frankly, because the size was good and I think it looks cool. I went with the camo, it has this red and blue zipper that's been inverted. I'm gonna put links to this one and other ones that I recommend down in the description below so you can browse some of those on the internet. Now keep in mind there are materials and things to consider when you're shopping for a dop kit. Keep it small because if it's a bigger one you tend to put a lot of items in here and liquid is heavy and so that becomes the main thing that's weighing down your trolley or your bag that you're traveling with. Look for side compartments and little zipper pouches like this where you can put your smaller items, but you don't need many of those. On this main one I'm using here, there's a side pocket. The other thing is you wanna consider the material. Make sure it's durable and make sure it's water or liquid proof. If something explodes inside this bag, the last thing you want is it to leak out of the bag and onto your belongings inside your luggage. This one here, for example, this is flimsy, uh, cotton-like material. It has a wax coating on the inside. It may work to protect your other belongings, but I wouldn't put a lot of faith in this. Now let's talk about the containers and remember the motto, travel light and travel far. So consider investing into some small containers like this. This is a 50 millimeter one. Many toiletry brands offer their own containers. You can see them at the airport or at your supermarket. Many of those are single use items and they're not very eco-friendly. What I've done like this lotion container here is I've saved it. I've been able to reuse it many, many times over the years. Or what you can do is go to your local makeup or beauty supply store or look on Amazon. You can pick up many 50 to 100 millimeter empty containers, but you wanna look for containers that are leak proof, durable, that will withstand the wear and tear of travel. I wanna walk you through what's in my toiletry bag, what's inside my dop kit to give you an idea of what I'm traveling with so you can see what I'm using when I'm running around the world on the go. And as I said, I'm always perfecting it, trying to improve as I travel over the years. This is body lotion. This is a 100 millimeter container, a 100 millimeter shampoo container. This is an empty container I bought from Kiko 
and I use this for longer trips. If I'm going away just a couple of days or five days, I put my shampoo in a 50 milliliter container. 100 milliliters inside this is sunblock, and you make a lot of friends with this too because many people will forget to bring sunblock. Deodorant, unfortunately, they don't sell many of these or the right ones you want in travel size, and it's probably for the better. I buy a small size one like this. Shaving cream, this is a local brand from Florence, and I love it, Pro Raz. So you have to buy these in traveling size ones. Buy about 10 of these guys, and so you always have one to pop in your bag when you're traveling around. That being said, a pro tip for you, uh, to save you a little additional space or weight, leave the shaving cream at home and just shave with some suds, get some soap and water, work up a lather, put it on your face, use that instead of shaving cream. You're gonna love this. My shaving razor blade right here, old school. It's a Gillette Contour with the two blade, the double blade cartridges. It's light, it's simple, and you can get these cartridges everywhere and anywhere. I buy around 50 at a time on Amazon. And the beauty of this, it takes up so little space in your toiletry bag. Toothpaste, again, ditto the same with the deodorant. I don't use travel size toothpaste. I just use a small tube like this. And often it's nearly halfway used or even more used. So you're able to really squeeze it down and it doesn't occupy much space. Toothbrush, same thing. Not a travel size toothbrush, but a regular toothbrush. It doesn't take up much space. And I want to talk about these things. Go the old school manual types, not the ones that take batteries or you need to plug them in and recharge them. There is a couple of different reasons you want to do that and I do that when I'm traveling. One is weight. You don't have the weight of the batteries and the other weight that comes with the cords to pack that. And the other thing is when you're in foreign countries, you don't have to look for an adapter to plug those. It's simple and frankly, I think it's the way to go. If you don't think you're going to be able to get your teeth clean enough with a normal toothbrush, well, grow up. I always carry in a 50 mil bottle or a bigger bottle is some laundry detergent so I can wash my socks and underwear in the hotel sink. Hair gel, and this is just a reusable, I think it's 50 milliliter container, has a big mouth so you can easily fit it in there. Travel size brush, smaller the better. Dental floss takes up little real estate, so stuff it in your bag. Now we talked about those side pockets before. What's in my side pockets? Tweezers, fingernail clippers, the Swiss arm knife, the small classic version. It also has a toothpick in there. It has some tweezers so you could leave your tweezers at home. The classic model, it's small enough so you can have it in your carry-on. They won't take it away when you go through security, but also if they did take it away, it's small enough and not that expensive so I can afford to buy a new one. So let's talk about the things I don't bring and you're probably thinking, well, there are many things I'm not bringing. Well, some of the main things are soap. I used to travel with the bar of soap. I don't do that anymore. I always rely on hotels or the areas I'm going. The other things, I used to jam a lot of Q-tips in there. I don't bring those now. In fact, I don't even use those. They say maybe they're not even that good to be using in your ears. Yeah, I use cologne or perfume when I'm at home. I definitely don't travel with the heavy glass bottle of that stuff. My favorite containers to have on hand are these clear ones like these so you can easily see the liquid you have inside. I buy a bunch of 150 millimeter versions to have those on hand so the day before I'm traveling, I'm not stressed about not having the containers I need to put my liquids in to put inside my toiletry bag. And take note, buy at maximum 100 milliliter containers. Your 100 milliliter works out to 3.4 ounces, which is the maximum allowed liquid container size that you can have in your toiletry bag when you're boarding on a plane with your carry-on. I would also have a couple of these refillable containers here with the wide mouth. They're great for those things that aren't straight up liquids. You could put your gels and creams in there. You can get bottles like this with little spray tops on those if you need those. Again, 50 or 100 milliliter sizes. And some ones that I've been experimenting with lately are these silicone food safe ones. They get the flip top. So once you're ready to go in the shower, you can squeeze out your shampoo. When you're running low on liquid like that, you can easily compact 
pack them like that towards the end of your journey and easily compact your toiletry bag so you're saving even more space. The easiest way to get all these containers is just browse online on Amazon. I'm gonna throw some links down in the description so you can see those. I'm also gonna drop some links to some different toiletry bags down there as well so you can check those out, browse for yourself. Don't worry about buying the ones that come with the labels. I don't think you need them. If they're clear like these, you can easily spot what's inside. And if you need a label, just grab a Sharpie pen and put a marking on there as to what's inside. Ideally, you have your toiletry bag always locked and loaded, always with the containers filled up with liquid so you're ready to run out the door on a last minute trip. Uh, another pro tip, and it's cost me a few different times. I can think once when I first visited Vietnam and that's where I lost my 50 milliliter shampoo bottle. Always check and double check your bathroom and indeed the whole hotel room when you leave, when you check out. Look under the bed, look in the shower, make sure you haven't left any items. So there you have it, my ultimate toiletry bag guide. Whether you're heading out on a weekend getaway or a long-term adventure, the right toiletry bag and the right items inside can make all the difference. Yeah.